Hello students, you have learned about the area of plane figures in your previous classes. Now, let us discuss about the surface area of some solids. Look at this solid. This is a cuboid. It has got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 that is 6 faces. All the faces are rectangles. The lateral faces are perpendicular to the base. The opposite faces are identical or congruent. Also, they are parallel to each other. So, a cuboid has got three pairs of congruent faces. That is, faces 1 and 3, faces 2 and 4, and faces 5 and 6. Now, let us try to find out the surface area of this cuboid. The total surface area of a solid is the sum of the areas of its faces. Let L be the length, B be the breadth and H be the height of this cuboid. Here, the total surface area of this cuboid is equal to area of phase 1 plus area of phase 2 plus area of phase 3 plus area of phase 4 plus area of phase 5 plus area of phase 6. Since phases 1 and 3, phases 2 and 4 and phases 5 and 6 are congruent phases, the total surface area of the cuboid is equal to 2 times area of phase 1 plus 2 times area of phase 2 plus 2 times area of phase 5 that is equal to 2 into L into H plus 2 into H into B plus 2 into L into B is equal to 2 into HL plus BH plus LB. On rearranging this, we get 2 into LB plus BH plus HL as the total surface area. Moving on to the lateral surface area, the lateral surface area of cuboid is the sum of the areas of its lateral faces, that is, Area of faces 1, 2, 3 and 4 which is equal to 2 times area of phase 1 plus 2 times area of phase 2 equal to 2 into H into L plus 2 into H into B is equal to 2 into H into L plus B. This can be rearranged as H into 2 times L plus B which can be written as height into perimeter of the rectangular base. We can also say that the total surface area of the cuboid is equal to lateral surface area plus 2 times area of the base. Now, let us consider this cube. A cube has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 that is 6 congruent square faces. If one edge of a cube is a units, 
the area of one face is a square so the total surface area of a cube is equal to 6 times the area of one square face equal to 6 into a square also the lateral surface area of cube is the area of its four lateral surfaces which is equal to 4 into a square next let us take a cylinder it has got three faces 1 2 and 3 the base and the top are circular faces its lateral surface is a curved surface here the circular surfaces are congruent and parallel to each other also the line joining the centers of these circular faces is perpendicular to the base so this is called a right circular cylinder but the one which is given in this figure is not a right circular cylinder because the line joining the centers of the circular faces is not perpendicular to the base now let us discuss about how to find out the surface area of the cylinder the total surface area of a right circular cylinder is equal to area of circular base plus area of circular top plus area of curved surface if we take the radius of the circular faces as r units then its area will be pi r square now look at this curved surface this is a rectangular sheet of paper with breadth equal to the height of the cylinder now i am wrapping it around the curved surface of the cylinder it covers the curved surface of the cylinder completely therefore the curved surface area or the lateral surface area of the cylinder is equal to area of the rectangular strip to find the area of this rectangle we need to know about the length and breadth of this rectangle what is the length of this rectangle let us check yes it is the perimeter of the circular base that is 2 pi r what is the breadth yes it is the height of the cylinder so the curved surface area or the lateral surface area of this cylinder is equal to area of the rectangular strip is equal to length into breadth equal to 2 pi r into h that is equal to 2 pi r h now the total surface area of the cylinder is equal to area of base plus lateral surface area plus area of the top which is equal to pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus pi r square that is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h or 2 pi r into r plus h next let us find out the volume of these solids 
volume is the amount of space occupied by a three dimensional object since the base and top of all these solids are congruent and parallel to each other and the lateral surface is perpendicular to the base we can say that volume of the solid is equal to area of base into height in the case of a cuboid of length l breadth b and height h volume is equal to base area into height that is equal to l into b into h cube is a special case of cuboid where l is equal to b is equal to h is equal to a units hence the volume of a cube is equal to a into a into a that is equal to a cube now the volume of a right circular cylinder with base radius r and height h is given by base area into height is equal to area of the circle into height is equal to pi r square h so today we have learned that the total surface area of cuboid is equal to 2 into lb plus bh plus hl the lateral surface area of cuboid is equal to 2 times h into l plus b total surface area of a cube is equal to 6 a square lateral surface area of cube is equal to 4 a square the total surface area of a cylinder is equal to 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h or 2 pi r into r plus h curved surface area or lateral surface area of the cylinder is equal to 2 pi r h volume of cuboid is equal to l into b into h volume of a cube is equal to a cube volume of a cylinder is equal to pi r square h now you can use this formula to find the surface area and volume of any cuboidal cubical or cylindrical objects thank you